icicling. I mean, right? yeah, I mean, think about the temperatures in the low 80s versus the low 90s. Which we're approaching by the end of the week, right? Yes. So if commuting by bike is your way to go, uh, this weekend, starting this weekend, is where we jump into <laughs> a much hotter feeling kind of summer. So we've been enjoying these temperatures that have been below normal, and that's certainly where we were earlier today. We only had a high of 80 degrees. Our normal is about 82. Right now we're at 72. Wind out of the north at just eight miles per hour. So with the high of 80, that put us two degrees below normal today. Pretty close to normal for our low temperature from this morning. The all-time high for July and also for this day is 107 degrees. That was in 1965. Let me know if you remember that day. I'm serious. Let me know. Twitter, Facebook, you can find me there. Uh, looking at your sunrise time tomorrow morning, 5.53. And talking about all this hot weather, you're probably thinking, okay, this weekend is boating time. So here are your current river conditions. Columbia River right there going through Vancouver, 69 degrees. Willamette River, 74. Clackamas River, 69 going through Oregon City. Deschutes River through Madras, 57 degrees. Sandy River through Bull Run, 61. And Washougal River right now at 71. So earlier today, we started off the morning with a pretty stubborn marine layer, and it took until about noon, 1 o'clock, before all of this disappeared. Now, later on tonight, we're not expecting the same kind of extensive marine layer in place. High pressure is really taking over, and we can also see evidence of that in our upper-level winds. So what's on the way? Well, we're talking about the next area of low pressure sitting just offshore, and will be bringing us a little bit of rain by the time we get to Thursday night and Friday. Along with that, a little disturbance for us. Central Oregon and Eastern Oregon. Thunderstorm potential best for these areas. That'll be Thursday afternoon. And the Southern Cascades, that will continue in Oregon through the day. Thursday, Friday is our day to perhaps measure some rain in Portland. But look at where it kind of stops. Here we go, 7 o'clock in the morning, and the overall orientation takes it from the southwest, yes, to the northeast. And it's not going to become widespread. Also, relatively brief in terms of what this front is actually going to bring. We get to the afternoon, early evening, and it's already gone. So it looks as though places like Roseburg, south to the California border, are likely going to miss out on any of that rain. And certainly, if they did get anything, it wouldn't be enough to measure. Now, we get through the weekend, high pressure takes over. And our hottest day for the week will likely be on Sunday. Daytime highs at the coast tomorrow up to 73 for Utilimook, 67 in Newport. And we'll be heating things up mid to upper 80s tomorrow afternoon. Now for your seven-day forecast, it's going to see a <laughs> big fluctuation here. Friday, 82 with that chance of rain, but then Sunday up to 91. Yeah, and then it's August. Then, then it, right? Yes. Gosh. <laughs> All right, still ahead of Ben.